If you can weld a feather, then you can weld a whole eagle. Most people who weld scrap metal art and simple metal sculptures, like the horseshoe sculptures and silverware projects, most of them stay in that area their entire career. But that's because they don't know how easy it is to transition from that into masterpiece metal sculptures. When you look at a whole masterpiece sculpture, it looks really difficult. But if you chunk that project down into simpler, smaller projects, it's quite easy to do. Listen, you can't eat a whole 16 ounce sirloin steak in one bite, but if you cut it up, you can finish the whole thing. My name is Barbara the Welder and I'm a full-time metal sculptor and today I'm going to teach you how to weld a feather. The material I'm going to use for my project is 11 gauge steel. You can go a little thicker or a little thinner and you'll get the same result. Two inches wide by eight inches long is the size you'll need. I'm using welpers because I'll be MIG welding. You'll need a way to mark your material. You'll need a die grinder with a burr bit. I've got a ball shaped burr bit. And I've got a variety here in this little set. You're gonna need a way to cut your material, cut off wheel, or you can use a plasma cutter if you have a plasma cutter. And I've got my handy dandy tape measure here for measuring out my material. Make sure you've got your safety gear as you're working. Glasses, face shield, earplugs, and gloves. Long sleeve shirt and jeans and boots you wanna protect yourself. For this project, I'll be MIG welding using my Millermatic 211. I'm using an 030 ER70 S6 wire. I've got my auto set at six, the machine set at MIG steel C25, and my wire speed at 70. For the first step, go ahead and mark your material at eight inches. A feather's organic, and it could be different sizes, but for this one, I'm going at the eight inches. Next, mark a line approximately straight down the center of the length of your feather. This is going to mark out your spine. Your next step is to lay out your feather's shape. Well, it's an organic shape. It's not perfect, so it doesn't need to be the same on both sides. It's going to be a little bit, a little bit different, and we want to capture that unique shape. Remember, you've got your little spine down here. Like this, but you've also got like this ragged, like kind of spiky stuff down here at the bottom. So you want to make sure that you leave a little space for where it's not as smooth as the other feathers, and you still got room for your tail. If you have a plasma cutter, then by all means use a plasma cutter to cut this out. But not everyone has a plasma cutter. So if you don't, I'm going to show you how to cut this out using a cutoff wheel. You're going to come in here for your first cut, and you want to avoid where those little feathers are in the bottom. You're going to cut here, stop here, and then cut here to cut this little chunk out. Same thing over here. You want to cut close to that. Cut that chunk out. Same thing up here. Cut this corner, and then cut this corner. Once you have those cut, you can come in and get that bulk of the material off. You can come in here and cut here, and here, cut here, and here, and then you can use a grinder to smooth yourself down to the line. Now we're gonna take our feather and we're gonna weld a straight line right down the center, flip it over and do the same thing on the opposite side. After I welded the first side, I flipped my feather over and welded the second side. And I thought that by following the weld line that I'd be able to get a straight line and I was wrong. The best thing about metal and working with metal is the fact that it's so forgiving. If you make a mistake, it's no big deal. Just grind it out and start again. 
So you see, I've got this side, I've got that line that was actually over here, ground right out. And now I've got my line down the middle and I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna weld my line straight. Bird feathers have splits and they have little sections separated where the feathers are separated. They're not, it's not a continuous straight all the time. And so we're gonna come in with our cutoff wheel and we're gonna cut a couple of spots in, separate them and we're gonna come in here to these bottom, little fluff portion of the bottom of the feather. And we're gonna make a couple cuts in there so we can spread that out and create that fluff look. Just go ahead and mark on your feather, just a couple of spots, and we'll go back in and we'll cut them. Now we're gonna use our die grinder with a ball-shaped burr bit, and we're gonna start cutting and shaping the lines into the feather. And the way to do that is by holding the feather with one hand, I'm gonna Brace this into the finger pit. What do you even call that? The finger pit of your hand. And I'm gonna use it as a pivot point. So I'm gonna put that in there and brace that. And I'm just gonna start right on the edge with the grinder running. I don't have it hooked up right now. But with that in there, you're gonna take it and you're gonna run it back and forth, catching that lip on the outside, catching that and running it all the way until you hit this line, your center line. And you're just going to take that and you're going to work your way from the edge to the center, moving your way down the feather. This takes time, but that movement there will let you get that angled lines. And we're going to go from here all the way down. Now, as you're grabbing the sideline, you're going to be digging into it a little bit. And that's what you want to do because the feather is not squared off on the side. So when you do that on this side and then flip it over on the other, it's going to create this into a point all the way down the side, like a real feather would be kind of tapered off. To round out and sharpen the tip of the feather down here, you've got three options. You can use a cutoff wheel, you can use a grinding disc, or you can use a burr bit. Now, I prefer sculpting with a burr bit. This is my cone-shaped one here. And I'm just gonna come along it, and I'm gonna break down the sides. I use a cone shape because it's got a slightly rounded side, but it's got a narrow tip, which means I can get into small spaces and without damaging the piece that I've got in here. So now I'm just gonna go in and I'm going to round that out and taper it off. There is your feather. You can finish it up by using a clear coat that's made for metal, or you can go in and flame paint it using heat. I've got another video for that here on YouTube and you can go check that out. If you were able to weld this feather following these instructions, then I can teach you how to weld masterpiece sculptures. Head over to barbarthewelder.com and get yourself signed up today.